So, vegan gains, we need to talk. This is a world This is a world premiere. This is a world So, hey, welcome to the vlog and this video is going out to Vegan Gains aka Richard Burgess who is a fitness YouTuber and a vegan who was introduced to the YouTube community when he uploaded his first video explaining why he was a vegan bodybuilder. Vegan Gains went on to have a meteoric rise in the YouTube vegan community with his series Worst of the Fitness Industry. In that series he calls out fitness experts and bodybuilders for their flaws and for not being vegan. Did I mention he's vegan? In his few years of being a rather major figure in in the vegan YouTube community and the fitness community, he has become quite the controversial figure. Not only has he targeted fitness professionals and bodybuilders, but he's also targeted just other non-vegan YouTubers. He's also said some pretty problematic things about women, about members of his own family, threatened people's lives, talked about smashing in babies' faces, and I understand to a certain extent he's doing these things just for views. So Vegan Gains, I don't want to be a hypocrite and challenge your way of doing animal rights advocacy or vegan advocacy because the animals aren't free and no one has shown a surefire way to set them free. But I do wonder how you think what you're doing is helping the animals. Although you preach ethics, at least as far as animals are concerned, you also seem to exemplify a level of toxic masculinity that I think might be turning a lot of people off to your message. I don't want to say that it's necessarily turning people off to veganism because I don't think people need any help being turned off to veganism. But I just don't understand who you think you're bringing into the fold by being so hostile against anyone who doesn't believe in the things that you believe in. I don't see how mocking your dead grandfather is supposed to make you a positive vegan role model. I don't see how brandishing a pistol at someone because they don't agree with your politics is helping veganism. And just because I don't understand them doesn't mean that they aren't somehow having a positive effect. I just would like someone to explain, I would like you to explain what you think those positive effects might be. And then there was that whole thing with Tana Mojo where you kind of went after her because she said she supported Black Lives Matter. And then you went on to attack Black Lives Matter, calling them a terrorist organization. And then later on, you went on to attack Muslims. Then you proclaimed yourself to be a member of the alt-right. How do you think this is helping the animals? How is taking cherry-picked footage that may or may not be of people who are in any way related to the Black Lives Matter movement in order to discredit likely the only major movement right now that is working towards the liberation of black and brown people around the world. And how does that help veganism? How is attacking a religion and all of its followers based on your limited understanding of that religion and the people who may adhere to that religion supposed to be helping veganism? How is your identifying with a white nationalist organization supposed to improve the image of vegans? What troubles me most is that you're aligning yourself with basically a hate group and criticizing other people for identifying with hate groups. And yet you show no desire of criticizing those hate groups that you're identifying with. So you single out Islam and Muslims for the inherent violence and misogyny that are part of that religion, but you make no mention of the history of violence that has been part of Christianity since pretty much the beginning. Like the Crusades, like the Inquisition, like the witch trials that were responsible for the burning of hundreds of thousands of women over three centuries in Europe and the United States. I have yet to hear you criticizing any of these senseless acts of violence that have been directed by Christians towards Muslims and Jews around the world, in the United States, and in your own country where a Christian gunman opened fire on a mosque. I doubt we'll hear any criticism of the violence that happened just over the weekend where in a US-backed bombing, 200 innocent civilians were killed, including 90 women and children that were in the basement of a building that was bombed. 
In our current political climate, it's very easy to target feminism. It's very easy to target social justice. It's easy to target Black Lives Matter. It's easy to target Muslims. I have no doubt that a large portion of your audience are men, are Christian, are Westerners. So it would take a hell of a lot more courage and strength of character to be critical of those groups, who, if we're being totally honest, are just as guilty of senseless acts of violence as any other group that you'd easily label terrorist. You can be whoever it is that you want to be, you can say whatever it is that you want to say, but I'm just trying to understand how you think this is at all helping the animals or at all convincing people that going vegan is a good thing. And the thing that I find most disappointing and like, who cares, right? Is the fact that you as a descendant of Africa would say things that would be so hurtful to African culture. But you know, don't worry, you're not alone. There's been a tradition of Africans who have been willing to sell out their own in order to protect themselves and to benefit and to be accepted by the ruling class. In the United States during slavery, we had something called meritorious manumission where you could be set free as an African slave if you were willing to sell out your own or if you invented something that was helpful to a white person or if you say saved a white person's life. And I understand you're trying to have a successful channel and you're doing what you feel you need to do to get views and to stay relevant. I just wish you could do it without selling out so many people that are already the targets of hatred and violence throughout the world. Again, I'm just really trying to understand why you might be engaging in these behaviors and how you think it's helping. I don't know if you'll see this, but if you do, I hope this is something that we can talk about. For the rest of you, that's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto, baby.